So what we're going to look at today is an array of classes. Previously, I've shown you how to create a class using the example of a deck of cards. But now um, we want to be able to create multiple instances of our class and store them nice and neatly into an array. So to do this, we'll get started. Uh, first, we're going to do is set up an array to store our cars. I'm going to do this um, class example on cars. So set up an array, just leave it blank for now. Then we're going to set up our class. So class car, define double underscore in it, and then self, and we're going to have three properties to this car. Uh, we've got the make, model, and the color. Okay. So again, inside the function of the initialization, self dot make equals make self dot uh, model equals model and self dot color equals color. So there's our uh, class set up ready to go. And we've got our array set up as well ready to go. Now we need to create a car class or an instance of our car class and insert it into the array. Now, if you're dealing with arrays, most of the time you're going to be dealing with uh, for loops or while loops. But in this example, I'm just going to use um, just one instance of the car class and append it to an array. So if we take our car array or cars array dot append and then in it, we are going to pass an instance of the car object. And inside that car object, we need to specify the make, model, and color. So in quotes, uh, just keep it simple, VW Golf, uh, and the color is going to be red. So now if I run this, it does nothing because we've not asked anything to happen just yet. If I want to check to make sure this has worked, I can go ahead and print uh, cars underscore array. And I'm at, in this example, I've only got one item in the array, so I'm going to access index position zero, which is our first item. And then here I can choose to print out the make, model, and color. So if I just print out the make and give this a run, we should see that VW gets printed. Now, if we wanted, if we started to uh, add more to our array, so let's have three different cars here. Let's go with BMW, Ford, we've got a 320D and a Ford Fiesta. Uh, that's going to be black, and the Ford can be blue. So this code, um, again, you would probably stick this into a for loop or a while loop to make it a lot more efficient. But for this example, um, this is perfectly fine as it is. So again, if I run this now, it's only going to print out VW. So if I go ahead again, duplicate this, and change our value to 1 here, this should access the second item in the index in the array, sorry, which is BMW. Um, and if we wanted to, we could stick this in a for loop, so for I in range, zero to the length of our car array, cars underscore array. And we're going to print uh, each item. So cars underscore array, pass in I, because I will be an, uh, an iterate, iterative uh, variable so it'll be 0 1 2 3 4 5 so on obviously to the length of your array and then we can print out the make so if I run this now we should see all three get printed VW BMW and Ford and again you can go ahead and copy this and we could change the make out to be the model and we can put it in again to print out the color give this a run and we should get VW Golf Red, BMW 320D Black, and Ford Fiesta Blue. So I hope this helped. Obviously, you can go a lot more advanced with this and a lot more efficient, uh, but this is the basis of how you would set up a car class or a class for any kind of scenario and append them to an array to hold multiple instances of that class.